Hi guys, this is Venkat Reddy. You are watching Java Mojo. In this video, I am going to explain about how Java achieves platform independence. The first thing that you read or listen about Java is Java is a platform independent language. Few beginners get confused what is this platform and what is being independent from it actually mean. So first we will start our discussion with what is platform. Platform is a collection of machine architecture and operating system on which programs or applications run. Now we will see what is platform independent language means. A language is said to be platform independent if that language can run on any machine irrespective of where it was developed and where it was compiled without changing anything in source code. If you take C or C++ languages as an example, in these languages, as soon as source code gets compiled by C or C++ compiler, those compilers will directly generate executable files. That means in C or C++ languages, if you compile source code, that source code will directly get converted into executable code. And this executable code will be generated based on where you have compiled means like on which platform you have compiled based on that this executable code gets prepared now let me explain the same thing with an example suppose there is a instruction called 2 plus 6 equal to 8 suppose this instruction was there in c or c++ language source code and executable code for this instruction on windows let us suppose double one zero double one zero and for the same instruction executable code on linux let us suppose one double zero zero one zero and the executable code on mac for the same for the same instruction let us suppose one double zero double one zero if you see the executable code for these three different platforms is different suppose when c or c++ compiler compiled this instruction these compilers will directly convert this instruction into this executable code when c or c++ compiler on windows trying to compile this instruction it will directly convert into this executable code so it's very difficult to execute the same instruction on the other platform that is on linux that's why c or c++ languages are called as platform dependent languages now let's see what happens when we have the same instruction in java source file when we have same instruction in java source file java compiler will not convert this instruction directly into executable code instead java compiler will convert this instruction this 2 plus 6 equal to 8 instruction into byte code actually java compiler will generate dot class file after compiling source file now it is the responsibility of that respective platforms jvms to convert this bytecode into machine understandable language which means if you are running this instruction on windows machine it is the responsibility of windows jvm to convert this bytecode into machine understandable language in the same way if you are running this instruction on linux jvm it is the responsibility of linux jvm to convert this bytecode into machine understandable language in the same way if you run 
the same instruction on MacJVM, it is the responsibility of MacJVM to convert this instruction into executable code. This is how Java is achieving platform independence. But if you observe very closely, there is a separate JVM for every platform. Windows has its own JVM and Linux has its own JVM. Mac has its own JVM, which means these JVMs are platform dependent, but not Java language. Now, before completing this video, let's summarize what we have discussed. When we have a source file in Java, the source file will not be converted by Java compiler directly into mission understandable language. Instead, this Java compiler will convert the source code into byte code. Now, it is the responsibility of that respective platforms JVM to convert this byte code into that respective mission understandable language. That means when we run this byte code on Windows JVM, it is the responsibility of Windows JVM to convert this byte code into Windows mission understandable language. In the same way, when we run the same doclass file on Mac, it is the responsibility of Mac JVM to convert this byte code into Mac mission understandable language in the same way for Linux as well. I hope this clears how Java is achieving platform independence. Thanks for watching my video. I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.